Gisteren aan was weer eens een baie opwindende episode van Ultimate Braai Master, but unfortunately they had to say goodbye to yet another team. That team smokes sweat and tears. We have the boys live in our studio this morning. Chris and Simon, guys, good morning. Welcome to Expresso, man. Hey, thank you for having us. Yes. 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 It must have been such an awesome ride for you guys. Yeah, incredible. Incredible road trip that we went mm. on. Um, the journey, the places that we saw, the things that we got to do. Unbelievable, yeah. eye-opening experience for me, certainly. Now let's quickly, before we start making your recipe and, and tell us what it is all about, you guys aren't chefs by trade, so so the decision to enter, what drove, what drove that? The big guy, yeah. Yeah, I think it was pretty much just, um, I'd watched a little bit of last season, uh -huh. um, and then just invited Chris, I said, let's, let's try this, you know, the, the travel looked amazing, everyone loves to bribe, I mean, it's so freaking pastime, so... We just thought, give it a bash. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure you guys are better off for being on it now. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. So what are you making for us? I heard this is one of the recipes you made in Sudwana. That's, yep, right. that's um, right. Sudwana, probably my favorite location. Oh, Got beautiful. to dive at one of the top 10 dive sites in the yes. world. Right, and what we, what we did there was we caught some tuna. Oh. Um, and we made a Cajun sear tuna with some crushed potato and some asparagus spears which uh, the judges didn't take too much of a shine to okay. <laughs> during that leg, but we're hoping to redeem ourselves this morning. So we'll, we'll give right. it a go. I think well, let's get cracking. Um, yeah. Simon, if you want to get going. Yeah, man. Tell I'm us gonna what we're doing. smash on those potatoes. Cool. So, of this course, you can make your own Cajun sear tuna at home yeah. as well. Just like these guys, SMS the keyword tuna to 33728. We'll send you on the Pick and Pay shopping list and a link to that recipe. Yeah. Probably right. the best thing in that recipe there will be the Cajun rub, okay. um, which is a critical part of this yeah. whole recipe. So, that's something we knocked together there. Yeah. And it's definitely um, one of my favorite spices as well. The Cajun. Really right? yeah. yeah, very versatile. You can use it very with almost everything. I so, use it always as a dry rub on a, on a steak. As well. Okay. Is brilliant. that a good thing? I don't know. Did I just embarrass <laughs> myself? Well, if you no, 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 no. if you watch the uh, if you watch the steak elimination challenge in Vakastrum, oh yeah, um, you'll see that a similar a similar version of this came through there as well, and that managed to pull us through to the next oh, leg. There so, we go. Yeah, see. yeah, perfect. Cool. So anyway, the Cajun rub. We've got a little bit of cracked black pepper in there, yep. a little bit of smoked paprika. There's some herbs, some thyme and oregano, um, finely chopped onions, some garlic, and some chilies. Nice. And that's all going into the pestle and mortar, and then we're going to give that uh, yeah. tuna a good rub with that. I'm glad to see you adding some chili in there because I do like a little bit of a bite in my dishes. Yeah, there we go. All right. I've got to tell you, it's much easier having all of this prepared instead of uh, instead of on the show where they just give you the whole onion, the whole garlic, the chili, yeah, and you've got to all decide on that yourself. The pantries, by the way, were incredible that we had to work with. You, you have, kind of get yeah. lost in those. Um, yeah, very how difficult. do you, I mean, you, you have this, all of these, this huge range in front of you, but then, I mean, you, you know what you want to do. I mean, don't you get distracted by all the other ingredients that's around? I think as it as it happens, as they tell you what you're going to do, you just focus, man. Like, yeah. really, anything around you, behind yeah. you, all the other contestants just becomes null and void and you sort of just zone in on what you have to do what you have and you yeah. just cook on man it was incredible it really nice worked. okay cool so how's our spice coming on there brilliant 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 you want to listen i must to tell you we've got a very hot pan on this side is that yeah. what you want exactly. absolutely there we go yeah. that's the okay. uh, that's a cage rub. give that a bit of a smell oh and that smells Great. incredible so you can take that out just pack that onto the tuna that's it that's it okay sure on the other side so if you had if you had the chance, would you do it over, all over again? And what would you do different if you were to be on the on the, on the next season of Ultimate Brown Master? I don't know what I'd do differently, to be honest. I mean, it's Chris and I. I mean, myself yeah. personally exceeded every expectation I had of myself, and I think Chris did as well. You know, like yeah. you said earlier, we're not chefs, so um, if we can do yeah. it, anybody can do it, mate. Really, that's that's my yeah. scenario, and that's my that's my saying. I mean, it's brilliant. It happens. Okay. There we go, so super hot pan. All you really want to do is sear the tuna on either side. Okay. Give it a little bit of color. Don't want to burn the spices and you certainly don't want to overcook the tuna. Yes, of course. You want so, a full look pink in the inside, basically. Absolutely. Yes. The best way to eat tuna. I think if you do anything else with it, you've ruined it, unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I can definitely smell the Cajun spice just releasing as it hits the heat. Yeah, there nice. you go. So just so give it a bit of a turn around. And then. For your own Cajun sear tuna this morning, just from our team of smoke, sweat and tears, you can just SMS the keyword tuna to 33728. We'll send you on the pick and base shopping list and a link to the recipe. Yeah, you want right. to get your hands on that Cajun rub recipe, really. Oh man, that's, yeah. that does smell amazing. And it's also nice that you make your own because I know that you can buy the Cajun mix already. No, which is also okay, I suppose, if you, don't have, if you don't yeah. have much time, you want to knock this through legs quickly. But if you have the time, do yourself cool. the favor. Great, well, I'll tell you what, while we finish this one off, if you miss any of the steps on our Cajun sear tuna, take a look at this, we'll be right back. Pan. Mix salt, garlic, paprika, cayenne, herbs and chili, then use to coat the loin. Sear tuna, slice and set aside. Boil potatoes with garlic, then crush with a fork. Add parsley, butter and seasoning. 
Blanch and refresh the asparagus, then char grill before dressing with lemon juice and olive oil. Serve the tuna on a bed of potatoes and asparagus. And that keyword once again, tuna to 33728 will send you on the shopping list and a link to the recipe. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. That looks amazing. I'm mean, going to have to have a taste. But before I do that, have you learned anything from each other? I mean, are you guys best mates or, or how, did, how did the two of you end up working together? So like I said on the show yeah. last night, when we, when we finished up, we've really become solid mates. So we knew each other from school, um, mm -hmm. kind of met up again in Fushuk when, mm -hmm. when I moved there and Simon was already there. But the show really sort of brought us together and taught us a lot about, right. about each other. And we have similar priorities in life, you know, family Brilliant. first, that's a big thing for us. And that, that, kept us, uh, that kept us together, I think, throughout the whole show. Brilliant. Well, guys, well done on making it this far. I'm sure it was as exciting for you guys as, as watching as well. But don't forget, next week, Wednesday, Ultimate Brian Master on SABC3 at 8.30. Don't miss it. Here's a quick look at what you can expect. Next time on the Ultimate Brian Master, you will be fighting for the biggest reward yet. I want to, I want to go back. Run Daredevil to take the plunge. Daredevil, Daredevil! <laughs> we had some tense moments, I'm not gonna lie. That looks ugly. Ah, uh, one sauce on. Jono, go back, bro! Did you see other cars that look like this? We're not even semi lost, we lost. By supporting businessmen like Sibusisu Chabalala and his Berry Hill Trading Company, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay always there for you.